Crewman Verity. Yes, Commander. You ready for this? Absolutely. Request docking? Requesting landing pad. Scan the system. Scanning now. Open galaxy map. Welcome to Stellar Cartography. Engage frameshift drive on my mark. Standing by. Punch it. Drives engaging. Welcome. I'm Commander Mal for the win, here for HCS Voice Packs. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process of purchasing an HCS Voice Pack and installing it. There's a whole series of these videos covering everything from installation to keybinds to making your own custom commands. Ah! HCS Voice Packs are a set of custom recorded sound files, actions, and instructions that add custom third party content to a program called Voice Attack so you'll need to make sure it's installed before you install any HCS Voice Pack content. If you don't have Voice Attack yet, you can purchase a copy through their website, voiceattack.com, or through the Steam store. You'll start your journey by visiting hcsvoicepacks.com and browsing the selection of Voice Packs available for your game of choice. You'll notice there are separate versions for Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen. Let's choose the Verity Voice Pack for Elite Dangerous and put that in our cart. If you want, you can select more packs and add them to the cart as well. When you're finished, click on the cart total here in the upper right hand corner of the page to pull up your shopping cart. Review the items in your cart and, when you're ready, click the checkout button. If you have an HCS Voice Packs account, you can log in to retrieve your information. If not, enter the information in the fields on the left hand side of the page. If you have a coupon code, enter it here on the right, and then click the Apply button. The total will update to reflect your discount. When you're finished filling out the form, click the Continue to Payment button. You can pay with PayPal or any other major credit card. Within minutes of your purchase, you'll receive two emails. The first is an invoice. The second will contain your download link and key. You may notice the phrase Send Owl in many of these links. Don't worry, it's still HCS. Send Owl is just the platform that keeps track of all your purchases and keys from HCS Voice Packs. This second email contains three important links as well as your license key. The first link you will use to create a login and claim your account. The second link allows you to request a remail of the download links for all voice packs you have purchased under this account or email address. The third link is your actual HCS voice pack download link. You'll see your voice pack name and license key directly below the link in this email. Clicking on the link will take you to a page like this. From here, you'll simply click the download button. Keep this page or your email open will need the license key during installation of your voice pack. When the file is finished downloading, click on it in the status bar. This will open the zip file in Windows Explorer, allowing you to see the contents. Click on the Extract All button and choose a location to extract the files. Make sure it's somewhere easy to get to or remember, like your downloads folder or your desktop. By default, all these files will be placed in a folder with the name of the voice pack. Next, we're going to prepare your system to install your HCS voice pack. Remember, you must have voice attack installed in order for your HCS voice packs to work. Open your copy of voice attack and make sure you're using the latest standard release, not a trial or a beta. If you haven't registered voice attack yet, do so now by clicking the options or spanner icon and then enter your registration code for voice attack. If you're running Voice Attack through Steam, it should take care of the registration for you. Once you've got Voice Attack updated and registered, close the program. Go to the folder where you extracted the files and run the install.exe file to begin installing your voice pack. The Milky Way is not Disneyland. You'll be prompted for your license key by the installer. Simply copy and paste it from your email or from the web page and continue with the installation. You'll also need to let the installer know where voice attack is on your computer. Usually your installer can do this for you. If however you need to locate your voice attack directory manually, 
Here are the default locations for both standalone and Steam installations. When the HCS Tools installer runs, it'll install a complete set of tools, everything Voice Attack needs to use HCS Voice Packs, as well as the latest HCS profiles. The profile for Elite Dangerous is called Singularity. The profile for Star Citizen is called Event Horizon. Now, let's make sure everything ended up in the right place and you're ready to go. When you first run Voice Attack after installing HCS Tools, you'll have a pop-up message asking you if you wish to import hcsprofiles.vax. Clicking Yes will import the profiles, allowing you to use your new HCS Voice Pack. If you already have a Voice Pack from HCS installed, don't worry, your existing customizer settings should be retained. After the import process is complete, you'll be given the option to launch Voice Attack. Go ahead and do so. The Elite Singularity Profile should be loaded by default. If it's not, select it from the drop-down. Voice Attack can now go through the process of loading and initializing your Singularity Profile. When you see Ready, waiting for you to log into Elite, you know you're good. That's it for this tutorial. Be sure to drop by the HCS Voice Pack's official Discord if you run into any problems or need some help. You can also stop by my stream at twitch.tv slash win to ask any questions and see HCS Voice Packs in action. The next video will cover setup and speech training, a critical part of using Voice Attack and HCS Voice Packs. Until then, this is Commander Mal for the Wind reminding you that thanks to HCS Voice Packs, you never have to fly alone.